What's going on, people? Troops TV back again. Finally, the international break has gone. Man can close the door. UEFA Nations Cup, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Friendly Cup, whatever you want to call it. It's gone. And proper football is back. The Premier League is back again. So that means only one thing. The weekend fix the preview is back again. You get me? So obviously, let's get into this one right now. I've got my little file of facts here. You get me on my notes of them thing there. You get me, man's moving. Man's moving on point now, you feel me? F f facts and them thing there. Statistics, you get me? So, obviously, let's get into this one right now. The first game obviously kicks off at uh, midday on Saturday, um, lunchtime. Tottenham entertain Liverpool. Now, this was supposed to be the first game for Tottenham at um, the new White Hart Lane or whatever the fuck they're going to call it because they're having... Uh, problems with the naming rights and whatnot. Obviously, Levy, the man that love money, in it. So we trying to get the highest P for the naming rights. You get me. Obviously, no one wants to buy into it. So they they don't. Not only do they not have a stadium, these man ain't got a name. For, and get me when they actually get it, they ain't even got a name for it, blood. But obviously, they entertain Liverpool, Tottenham last weekend. Obviously, they went to Vicarage Road, lost two one. Um, that was their first drop points of the season because obviously they started off the season pretty well. And, yeah, I was very happy with that one. You get me? They didn't even score a goal, blood, technically, because it was a Watford own goal. You get me? They did start off well, but from Watford got that first goal, that was it, blood. You understand? There was only one winner, and Watford got the win. Obviously, as well, um, news has come out today. I saw that from Expressions. Big up Expressions, you get me? He's hella stressed right now. Because, obviously, Ali, Lloris, and Sissoko are all injured. They're out for this game, you get me? So, Tottenham are in big problems for this one. Obviously, Liverpool, um, they have yet to drop a point this season. Four wins out of four. Um, went to Leicester last week, got the 2-1 victory. Um, kind of lucky, in my opinion, you get me, because when it went 2-1, um, after Alisson, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. He was doing his best impression. He was doing his best um, impersonation of uh, Carrius, Mignolet, and Czech all in one blood, you get me, car. I don't know what the fuck he was dealing with, cuz, but Liverpool uh, dug deep, got the 2-1 victory, came out with the three points, and... With all them injuries, yeah, um, I can't see Tottenham getting anything out of this game, you get me? Before I knew about them injuries, I would have probably said a draw, you get me? I would have thought Liverpool would have, now they would have dropped their first points of the season, but I can't see nothing but a Liverpool winning this one, and I'm going for a 3-1 Liverpool. Obviously, um, we go to the 3pm kickoffs now, we're going to start with uh, Bournemouth, who take on Leicester. Obviously, Bournemouth lost away uh, last weekend to Chelsea 2-0. Um, over the last couple of seasons, they've had a decent record at the bridge. You get me? They've beaten them a few times, got a few draws, but obviously they lost this time. Obviously, uh, Leicester, we just spoke about them. They were very unlucky to lose 2 1. You get me? Against home, uh, sorry, at home against Liverpool. I think when the natural come, when they made a big difference, you get me? They looked more of an attacking threat. I don't think Damari can go down the middle. I think he's more of a winger. You get me? But in this one, I think it's going to be a draw. I'm going for a 2 2 in this one. Huddersfield um, entertained Palace. Now, obviously, Huddersfield got a great point away from home last weekend. A 1-1 draw at Everton. Palace, a um, bit of a disappointing result for them. They lost 2-1 at home to Southampton. Obviously, when they don't have Zaha, they don't win blood. You get me? But apparently, he's been training and he could be back for this game. And I think he will be back for this game. So, I'm going for a 2-1 Palace in this one. Then, we go to... Uh, Chelsea who take on Cardiff now obviously Chelsea they beat um, Bournemouth 2-0 uh, before the international break at home four wins out of four Chelsea are going about their business quietly um, Sarri's got his game plan fully across to them and they know what they're doing um, Cardiff obviously they took us to the wire last weekend 3-2 uh, they lost against us at home Cardiff if I think if they perform how they performed against us I think they've got a decent chance of staying up personally I think they'll go down but obviously I think they will raise their game again Chelsea is a big team but I think Chelsea will get the win in this one I'm going for a 2-0 Chelsea then obviously the champions City um, they play Fulham at the Etihad now City last weekend uh, beat Newcastle 2-1 uh, great strike from Walker but Newcastle did put up a decent fight but obviously City got the win Fulham, now last weekend they went to uh, Brighton and in my, in my opinion they bottled it fam, you understand? Because they were 2-0 up and then they drew the game 2-2. Obviously Mitrovic got himself a goal again. 
he's been on fire, fam, you get me? But then he fucked it up, blood. Handball, gave away a penalty, and then that gave Brighton their opportunity to equalise, which they took. In this one, you get me, you can't see nothing but a City win, let's be real. I'm going for a 3-1 City in this one. I'm still, I'm kind of ill, blood, you get me? I know you're looking here, fam. I got flu, blood, it's fucking with me, fam. Then, uh, let's go to the 5.30 kickoff, which is uh, Watford against Man United. Now, Watford are one of the few teams that have not dropped a point in the season, blood. You understand? Four wins out of four. Uh, great victory last weekend at... Uh, sorry, not last weekend, the week before against uh, Tottenham at home. Uh, Perea, Dini, they're looking hella on fire, blood. Hella on point. They're not looking like they're missing Richarlison one bit. United, obviously, um, they got a win before the international break. A 2 0 win at uh, Burnley. Lukaku getting himself a goal. Rashford getting himself sent off, you get me. Um, I personally think uh, the brother that he was caught up with, I think it was Bardsley. I think Bardsley should have got a red as well because he kicked out of Rashford, you get me. And that was the reason why Rashford reacted. He shouldn't have reacted though, you get me. But I think it should have been a double red card, obviously. Rashford got the red and Bardsley got the yellow. But. In this game, you get me, I think they caught uh, Burnley at the right time. Burnley on a bad run of form. But I think they're catching Watford at the wrong time, blood. You get me? But I don't think Watford can keep it up. I don't think they'll get five out of five. I wish they would, but I don't think they will. I'm going for a 1-1 one -one in this one. And then let's move to Sunday's games. Obviously, uh, Sunday, 1.30 kickoff is the first game. Super Sunday. Wolves entertain Burnley. Now, obviously, Wolves beat West Ham 1-0 last weekend. Last minute winner from Traore. That brother's got hella pace, blood, you get me? I remember when we played Middlesbrough when they were up. We drew nil nil at the Emirates and that guy was causing hella problems, blood. Even when we went there to the Riverside that uh, later that season, beat him 2-1, he was causing, man, hella problems, blood. But Wolves have made a fucking great start to the season. I said that they'd be the promoted team that would stay up and they're showing me fully that they will stay up, blood, and I was right in saying that. Obviously, they entertained Burnley. Now, Burnley have had a terrible start to the season. They're 19th. I think they've only got one point. They got knocked out of Europe as well. They're out of the Europa League. That journey's over. You get me? And I think they're in trouble in this one because Wolves, you get me? They got a 1-1 at home against City. And I think Molyneux is going to be a fortress down there. And I think Burnley's a team that ain't going to go down there and get anything out of them, blood. And I'm going for a 2-0 uh, Wolves in this one. Then we go to the 4 o'clock kickoff. Obviously, Everton entertain West Ham. Now, Everton, they drew last weekend at home against uh, Huddersfield. Bit of a bad result for them. They've had a decent start to the season. Still, Richarlison, Walcott, they're letting off goals left, right and centre. West Ham have had a complete opposite start. They've had a terrible start. Four four games, four losses. Holding hella corn, you get me? It's looking peak for them, man, you get me? It's going to take Pellegrini a while. Um, that Karen Brady woman's come out and said that the board are backing Pellegrini. They need to back him because they gave him 100 million. So they got a fucking backing, blood. But I can't see them getting a. I can't see them getting nothing out of this one again, blood. I'm not going to lie. I guess the yeah, Everton win, and I'm going for a 2 0 Everton. And then Monday is the last game of the weekend. It's not even a weekend, but that's the last game of the weekend. Southampton entertain Brighton. Now, Southampton got a great victory last weekend, their first victory of the season. Uh, 2 0 win at Palace. Obviously, no Zaha, then Palace know what's going to happen to them. You get me? They lost the game that like they normally do. Brighton, obviously, great comeback for them. 2-2 uh, draw at home to Fulham. 2-0 down, got themselves back to 2-2. I think Murray got both the goals. And Brighton have had a great start to the season. You get me? They've done really well. I think they're going to... I thought they'd go down, blood, but it, it looks like they might stay up. You get me? I think it's going to be tight down there at the bottom. I'm not going to lie. But in this one, I can see a draw and I'm going for a 2-2. You lot let me know your predictions of the games. You lot let me know if you think I'm right, if you agree with me or whatnot. You lot already know Newcastle Arsenal preview is dropping anytime soon. Subscribe to Troops TV. I'm out.